If you have enough food, enough supplies and the marketplace, yet your villagers still complain, not having their needs met. Here's the problem. First of all, marketplaces don't have ranges. I could set up a marketplace at the end of the region. It wouldn't really matter. This constitutes a logistics issue and we are going to solve it together. The reason why some people think markets have a range is because if the demand is higher than the amount of stalls installed, the houses closest to the market will get their supplies first and the farthest ones will have them skipped. So as you can see, these ones don't have their needs met, whereas the closer houses have all their needs met. But it isn't down to the market range. As an example, if I get all my food from trading, which in my case I do, and if you want more tips on why you shouldn't farm but do mining instead, you'll find out in this video here in the top right hand corner. So if I get all my food from trading, I need to get that food to the villagers. So what I need to make sure of is one, I have enough families handling the trading post so that supplies get from the trading post to the granary or to the marketplace. Second, I have enough families for the granaries handling the marketplaces. So in which case right now we do. And three, make sure you have enough people handling the market per total. If you see that every family in your trading post has a marketplace set up and all the granary people have another marketplace set up yet still people complain not having their demands met or their needs villagers here right right in the middle of nowhere they say like okay i don't have a full food stall i don't i don't have clothing it is because you haven't allocated enough families to cover the needs so in which case right you can put down multiple trading posts and granaries. As you can see, I have not one, not two, but three trading posts trying to handle all the marketplaces and trading for food, for, um, I mean, even even the storehouse, even the storehouse is, uh, is, is filled in with people. So when it comes to needs, it, uh, it doesn't really apply just to food. It applies to storehouses, to sawmill, to charcoal burners. You can put down multiple of them. And if by any chance you feel like, okay, well, I have like 300 wool or like 300, uh, uh, I don't know, shoes. And why, why isn't uh, my supplies, uh, my supply needs uh, met for, uh, for my villagers? It is down to the fact that you don't have enough families handling those particular jobs. So I guess this doesn't have anything to do with the title of the video, but bonus tip, the same logic applies to stables. As soon as your village starts growing, right? You're going to have, you're going to want to allocate people dedicated to stables. Now, if you ever ask yourself like, oh, I put down, I put the church on highest priority two months ago. Why isn't, why isn't anyone building it? Well, it's probably because you don't have dedicated families handling the stables, uh, the storehouse and so on. So the goods would get delivered as a priority, but because they don't have enough families in them, nobody is being pre preoccupied and priorities prioritizing those stable jobs so here's the thing if you have one worker family right what happens is that that one particular family has to handle everything uh, you see they are going to have to pretty much uh, take uh, the planks carry the planks move the logs with the ox and build the church at the same time but the problem is if that ox is right now being used for carrying logs for the sawmill, it's not going to happen. So just allocate families to stables, allocate enough families to storehouses, to granaries. And then once you start seeing that families don't have stalls set up in the marketplace, then you have met all the needs. So... <clears throat> to summarize it up, 
build your market wherever you want, put it in the middle of the forest, on top of a hill, surround your manor with it, and annoy your lord. It doesn't matter. What matters is to have enough families selling the goods. Well, hope this helped. If you want tips on why iron mining is better than farming or why your village might have an enormous lack of entertainment, subscribe and check out my other Manor Lords videos. Enjoy your games. Take care.